three clubs and a putter. Got the green, I think. Enough. Go. Thank God. Wow. Okay, I I, I really wasn't planning to play it next to the flag. <laughs> wow. Hello guys. I'm at Defence Raya Golf and Country Club. I am so pleased and delighted to be bringing this course to you this week. It is my home course. I know it so so well. I'm going to try to play well over here, which I'll just talk about in a bit. But talking about Defence Raya for two seconds, it was made in 2009. It's made by Australian golf designers called Nelson and Howarth. It plays about 7,200 yards. It's made on international standards. It's hosted the Asian Development Tour a few years back as well. So we are at a prime location, right? This is where you want to be. This is the epitome of golf in Lahore and Pakistan that you can play. And I'm very honored to bring you this particular course, right? So we'll go through about four holes. Before I try to play under par, Today, I'm going to play Scratch. I did play under par in my previous video. I'll put a link in the bottom. I played Royal Palm. However, playing Scratch with just four clubs in my bag. <laughs> I know. Again, I'm making it tough for myself, guys. I'm going to play with a three wood, with my seven iron, with my 48 degree wedge, and my putter. So out of 14 clubs, I'm choosing just four. And I've also chosen the more difficult holes to play at Raya. I'm very excited to be bringing this particular episode of Golf in Pakistan with me, Shan Tahir. Please stay tuned. I hope you have fun. So I'm starting my three clubs and a putter from hole number eight. I wanted to make things a little easier for myself. This is a stroke index 17. The wind is with as well. And by the way, when I say it's a stroke index 17, we've got OB on the right. We've got bunkers on the left. We've got bunkers in the front center fairway as well, which I possibly will not drive. And there's OB at the back of the green as well eventually. This is index number 17 at Raya, the beast of a course. So this is where my three wood got me. I've just missed the fairway by a couple of years, but that's okay because I have a great lie over here. In fact, it's a little fluffy, which you find in Raya very, very often. Um, more of a flyer lie, the club's going to kind of skid off the surface and I'm going to get more distance than normal. Um, there's a lot of green to work with on the right. Uh, the flag's a little on the left, which is a more difficult flag for this hole right now. But I have a, let me just check. 123 to the flag. So luckily it's within my 48 degree wedge which I'm supposed to use in my three clubs. I just want to get in there, continue, uh, keep making pars and play a scratch round. That looks really good. I think that's a good shot. Wow, okay, I, I, I really wasn't planning to play it next to the flag, but uh, the ball's drawing today for me some, for some reason, and I'm very happy with that shot. Sit, sit. <sighs> Thank God. For no reason, I had made that a little tough for myself. But we're through the second easiest hole at Raya, which was not so easy. I've made a par with my three clubs and a putter. A few more holes to go. Let's keep this form. So from making a par at the second easiest hole at Raya, I decided to be a little crazy. 
So I'm at the most difficult hole at Raya, which is the ninth number, index one. So it's a nice feel. You go from on the front nine, from the eighth to the ninth, from the 17th index, to the first index hole at Raya. As you can see, we've got a long dog leg right water hazard, which goes parallel to the fairway. Uh, it's an extremely long hole. It's a 462 yards, right? Which with a three wood, I am just gonna go crazy getting on uh, the green, obviously. So I actually am thinking of hitting my three wood, hitting a soft three wood, chipping onto the green, and trying my best to make a par. In my opinion, this is the most difficult index one in the whole of Lahore. I'll show you all of them later as well. I am not proud of that at all. Uh, this is what happens when you've got such a long hazard on the right. You hit an anti-water swing, which you weren't thinking about. But I really, now, now the par's out of the question, let's try to secure a bogey on this hole. I just wanted to stop on the ninth fairway for a bit, because these buildings on the back, they're beautiful restaurants, different kinds of different cuisines, right? And you get us a great view from this particular fairway onto what's happening over there. And I've sat there a couple of times on these restaurants and wondered what people are playing like on the ninth because I know how I play on the ninth. You saw my first tee shot, which I'll be playing from. This hole kind of gives a nice 360 view of Raya beautifully because connected to this hole, we've got hole number five over here of the front nine as well. And as I kind of move into this hole on this side, such a horribly tough and long hole, we've got the green of the ninth fairway, which is so far for me right now, I don't know how I'm gonna get there. <laughs> so after that horrendous tee shot, this is where I found myself on the cart path. So I am going to take a free pick and I have both my clubs, my seven and my three wood, depending on the drop, I'm going to choose which club to hit. So, please be good. I don't think I can hit my three wood from there. I was really hoping to get some support on this so I can hit a three wood, but seven iron it is. So I have to go three on. It's not going well for me at all. <laughs> there was just one little deep tree branch, which I unfortunately have hit. Going three on is also not a possibility anymore, what it looks like to me. So really, index number one, Raya really means it. I have about 210 to the flag, which I can't get with my seven iron and it's too less for my three wood. The start of the green is at about 175, which is more than my seven iron, but I really don't have a choice. I do have about 30, 40 yards of green to work with, and I'll show you the green when we get there. It's a beautifully difficult, long green. The idea is to just get near to the green or hit a superb shot and get someplace on the green and still a very long putt. Let's see. Please go. Be good. Okay, not bad. We're just short of the green, exactly what I thought would happen. It is a shorter club to get to the green, but I'm happy with it. There is a possibility to chip part and make a bogey out of this terrible hole. So this is where my third shot is. Still about 10 yards short of the green, as I expected. Before I get into the shot, I do really want to show you what the greens in Raya look like because we as Raya members do pride ourselves to have the best greens in the country. So I do want to show them and show also at the same time how tough they really can be. Look at the undulations on this particular green as if the distance, the hazard, the OB wasn't difficult enough. Just look at this green. I mean, it's a good 40 yards at least. And if you go down, it's sloping upwards, 
Let's go down, down, downwards. It turns left to right. I mean, uh, I, uh, you really need to hit it really well to even get two putts on this green. And I'm not even on it, right? So the idea is going to be to hit it somewhere around maybe 25, 30 yards. And I'm hitting a club that I'm uncertain of as well. I don't usually chip with this, with these distances. So it's going to be quite a challenge. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Go in. She never was on the line. Double bogey on index one. That is what the most difficult hole at Raya looks like. Uh, in a way, you got the right representation of how difficult this hole is. I'd really make a par over here. It would be a stretch uh, if I could do it today with three clubs. We're over two now, unfortunately, on just this hole with a couple of more holes to play. So let's hope we can salvage somebody somewhere, right? And move on from this terrible hole that I've just played. But it was so nice playing the ninth hole. It is as difficult as it looks on camera. Just look at this splendid stretch of two holes on the back nine at Raya. What you see over there is the fairway of the 16th hole. The green kind of goes over there. And I am standing right now on the tee box of this extremely daunting 17th hole, right? So I have come to the 17th hole. We've played the 8th and the 9th, the two last holes of the front nine. And now I want to play back uh, nine holes as well, the last ones, to give a taste of what the last two holes on each side look like when you're down and out in a match how this hole gets to you. I've played many matches where I've actually been up and I've ended up losing the match because these are holes, especially the 18th after this. It's frightening, right? It's a long par five, but this one with a water hazard in front, with an OB on the left, with a hazard of bushes on the front, with about seven bunkers over, with about a 200 yard shot if the wind is against, which it is, it's just everything's working against you on this and I have made it even tougher by saying I'll only play with three clubs so I don't know what got to me today but we're playing two over you know, there's a miracle in store for me there's a birdie that I have left over here I really hope so Okay, so I was good for distance, surprisingly. Um, I thought that the seven iron might be a little shorter, but that's what the ball is. And I call this the valley of death, right? The grain is against you. Uh, the club kind of sticks to the grass. Just look at the green over here. What I have to work with, slopes upwards, then suddenly slopes downwards. Look how undulated this is as well. This is almost on every green at Raya, which adds so much difficulty, especially for people who are not used to this course. I am, but then I thought, you know what? It'll be too easy. Let's play with three clubs. And now I have to hit this shot from the Valley of Death with a club that I do not feel comfortable about. So salvaging a par on this hole from here would be the miracle that I was talking about on the tee shot. Yup, that is Raya for you, everyone. <laughs> Enough, go, go. Oh, that was a shot for speed. That was such a good line. 
I should be happy with the bogey from where I was, but I just got some hope in the middle that I might just make a par out of this. So we're through three holes, we're playing three over. Not the best day of golf for me, but let's look at this view. It makes it slightly better. <laughs> okay, so we're on the 18th fairway now. This is the last hole. As you can see, it's as far as your eye can see. It's a par five. It plays about 580 yards. Uh, this hole becomes a monster of a hole, uh, especially when there are matches, when you're playing a stroke. You're leading by one stroke and you feel you've got this. As soon as you come on this tee box, your confidence kind of goes down because it really challenges you. Uh, the first shot, seems like an open fairway. The second shot becomes narrower. The third shot, we'll get there and I'll show you how tough it gets. But uh, it's a tough hole to play and I've just made it tougher by playing my two clubs, which are my three wood and my seven iron for the first couple of shots, maybe with the 48 degree wedge later as well. I hope I can just make a par over here and really end my round where I am. Otherwise, <sighs> I don't I think I'll get a few dislikes on this video. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Finally, a good shot. So something that I really love about Raya every single time I play over here is the maintenance of the course. They do such a wonderful job at it. Every single morning, evening, you see so many gardeners, curators who are there trying to maintain the course for its pristine quality. There is no other course in Lahore especially, even in Pakistan, which is as beautifully and acutely prepared uh, for everyday play for its members. And when there are matches and during tournaments, uh, you should see the quality. The greens play till about 12, which are international standard speeds for greens. The fairways are so beautifully and lightly trimmed. The greens, when the ball kind of flows off the fairway, you see the ball kind of spinning back on the greens, which again, you really don't see in other parts of courses in Lahore. So Raya is really uh, something special. It's a treat. It's a place that everyone needs to come and play and really enjoy what this course is made of. Stay the line, please stay the line. Stay the line. Yes! <laughs> I was really scared about that shot. I do have the fairway. It wasn't the best of connections, but I might have left myself an approach shot over there. So just to add, Another kind of difficulty at Raya that you see everywhere on the fairway, even the fairways are quite undulated. So where I'm standing right now, the ball is quite a fair bit higher than where I am. It is going to force the ball to draw a little. And on a day when you're not feeling very comfortable with your swing, this can get so much more difficult. So as I said, there's bunkers on my right over here. Even in the third shot, the difficulty doesn't end because there is this water hazard that I need to cross and even if I draw the ball too much there's a water hazard next to the green on the left as well which continues which makes the entire shot so much more difficult that's just Raya for you guys turn left that's good so I actually hit a very good shot <laughs> I was doubtful with three clubs on the 18th hole. I have at least maybe um, a 12, 13 footer for a birdie and uh, be a good end to this particular round of not so good golf, which I uh, ideally would not have wanted to play. But uh, if only I can make this putt, I think I'll end with some more confidence, hopefully. Be good, be good. Come on! <laughs> wow, golf, such a funny game. I mean, you could be having the worst of your rounds 
and then suddenly the golf gods come and you make a birdie and you go back home thinking you know what I'm going to come back again tomorrow because I've got this I've got the game guys thank you so much for watching yet another episode of playing golf in Pakistan I'm absolutely loving presenting these beautiful courses to all of you and I really hope that all of you can come and play at Raya as well for me play two over three clubs and a putter in my defense I took the harder holes as well I'm happy birdie on the 18th thanks guys please subscribe to the channel for more content bye bye